Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Targaryens of the East campaign here in Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. In the previous episode, uh, it was a sad episode I guess. King Daemon the Merciless died, our first character. King Daemon, the Rogue Prince, sadly died. However, we played as his son and we were able to fend off a massive civil war where basically all of our vassals revolted, except for this guy for some reason. Actually, yeah! I <laughs> I, I remember now why this guy didn't revolt. He only revolted because we're hot and he's gay. <laughs> so <laughs> he's an ugly gay man and he has a crush on us. So so that's why we uh, that's why he didn't revolt. So that that is the that is the uh, the usefulness of being hot. I mean imagine that some 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 super hot dude on a dragon rides about and uh you're a gay lad with no hair and ugly. Um, I mean, good on you, man. Can we take you as a lover? I feel like you deserve that at this point. You deserve to be penetrated. Or something. No, there's no such... T Fuck, actually, we could probably do it, couldn't we? Sedu no. I think the game only allows you to su seduce men if you're gay. Or a woman, I guess, but, you know. Anyways! Uh, once again, <laughs> starting up the series with uh, quotes that can be taken out of context, uh, we do have some Dothraki raiders here that we need to brutally murder. Seems like whoever this is, yeah that's a raider as well, but he got beat and whenever they get beat they tend to fuck off. There's also this random army that I have no idea what, it, like, what is going on here exactly. What is this army? But it says like if I disband it I will lose uh, special troops or special event troops. So presumably these guys are neat or uh, I, maybe wait are they my disband command are they maybe in my house call household guard? I'm really not sure actually. But uh, I don't know. Regardless, um, we'll raise up some of our new vassals. Uh, yeah, we well uh, yeah there are some nice troops here as well. And we will put ourselves in charge, mainly just because we're... Oh, what happened here? Idle council members. Right, our storm singer, the dragon rider, she has been... She, she helped out quite a bit in the war. She did also accidentally burn down our capital. Scorched earth. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it was a civil war. Things uh, burn and people die in civil wars. That is just how it is. So there's not much to do about that. Uh, our half brother, yes, uh, you need to be uh, stewardship. I just keep clicking stewardship. Usually, although then again, I don't know how much point there actually is in doing stewardship because I keep doing stewardship because I I always do that when I play normal CK2. But that's that is normally because I want to culture convert, but there is no culture conversion in this mod. So, not really sure. Like. <laughs> What would I tell them in the comments? If if my primary goal here is to convert the religion of the area, what would I want to do? Uh, like, what's the optimal way to like what 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 stats should I try and have my vassals have uh, in order for the locals to be converted to the glorious Valerian fate? I'm mainly doing that because you know revolt risk is a bit annoying here. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of nasty revolt risk down here. Uh, and here as well, but that's presumably, yeah, incompetent ruler. But he's one year old, so, I mean, come on, guys. Don't judge him too hard. A lot of problems over here as well. Slave labor seems to be the uh, different religious group. It just, yeah, lack of funds. Yeah, there, there are problems here, but, you know, what are you going to do? Of course, uh, another good thing about putting my relatives in charge is that they are High Valerian, which have the Blood of All Valeria modifier, which reduces the revolt risk in general. So that sort of compensates for the fact that they are um, uh, the wrong culture. And Jesus Christ, what's going on over here? High taxation, triple taxation, dude. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if th if this isle if these islands here could just burn. If we can just like take all the people here, move them to Old Gis, and then leave these islands barren. That's what I want, but. Sadly, this is not a game where you just say what you want and you get it. 
I should probably ransom my prisoners because I caught a lot of them during this war. J Car, Celsi Valerian. Ooh. You're the lord of what now? This place, right. He kinda likes me actually, so I'll release him. Just to um, just to get that opinion bonus. Get a loyal vassal. Loyal little buddy. Thirteen year old. Don't be a cunt and serve me loyally. And I can't promise any rewards, but you know. It is what it is. So, I don't, like, I don't know. What is useful here? I, I, once again, I just do duty. Just in case. Actually, who the fuck are you? Jehera? Why are you in my court? I guess it's because the father is in my prison. Well, I'll do. Do that. At, what? I don't know. Whatever. Honestly, not that. Real. No, you don't get to marry or whatever relation you guys have. Yes, I'll ransom. Uh, let's just get that done. Ransom all prisoners, unless there are someone I specifically don't want ransom. Yeah, exclude from mass release. Good. Man, the, I just, okay, I'm, I'm shitting on the... I enjoy shitting on Paradox DLC, but they, they have been adding some useful stuff here. Yeah, you're also staying in prison. Like, every vassal are, uh, are staying in prison. Because there's no way I can make these guys loyal ever. So, what are you even lords of? Lord of this? Oh yeah, he's the old high lord. Yeah, he will never like me. So he's in, he's gonna stay in prison so that he doesn't revolt against my son. What is this? Uh, ask politely. This random Contus Maximus. Yeah, polite requests. Or I don't know. I don't know why I keep clicking keep clicking that that never works so anyways let's ransom the bitches bitches were never meant to be in prison although <sighs> master of the blood pyramid I don't know, fuck it those kinds of 110 gold it's not a lot of gold fam you know how much that will cost me Okay, this could be interesting. Uh, your grace, a humble the war of. He's invading your land, is he? Slave raid, dude. You should. You're part of the same kingdom. Why are you raiding each other? This this uh, gay lord. He really should be. Um, yeah, stand down, you cunt. Wait, what is this? All right. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Associate with the factions. Really? You refuse to stand down? I thought you had a crush on me. Yes, yes, yes. Give me money. And there we are. More money. Huh. Got a pop up here from the Trident. Because for some unknown reason, the Trident is independent. Lord Protector of the Trident. I assume that means you're some sort of regent or I don't know. Presumably that had something to do with the event that just popped up. But still, I mean the very fact that the Trident is independent is kind of derpy. I don't know how that happened. Because obviously I did not pay attention. Because that's just not what I do. Alright. Your war prince is Rainies. Uh, has come to you talking about these strange dreams she has been having about dragons flying around her. She's now a mystic and a dragon dreamer. I wonder, like, I haven't played as a character yet with dragon dreams, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's cool. Of course, dragon dreams was the um, was the thing that allowed the Targaryens to escape from Valeria and the doom of Valeria in the first place. So. It's cool to see that they are still around. Anyways, um, let's see, marriage ties. Yeah, uh, off screen, I've been doing a bunch of stuff, selling slaves, even buying some slaves. Uh, I'm trying to take a bunch of slaves as concubines because I'm pretty sure you can legitimize children from uh, concubine slaves. Um, and I want to expand the family because there is a lot of land now that I need to reorganize and so I want High Valerians to give land to and at this point the only High Valerians in the world are the Targaryens 
I mean, not even the Blackfires exist at this point, so... I don't know if the Blackfires ever would or will ever come into existence. I don't know if there's an event for that. Obviously the Blackfires are, you know, a bastard house of Targaryen, or a legitimized bastard house. Um, anyways though, in other news regarding plotting and memeing about, currently trying to revoke the city of New Guess because I realized the fucking levies from this city is 20,000. I don't even know how that works. But I will most definitely want to give this city to a, uh, a family member. I'm thinking this guy, Prince Makar. He has dragon dreams. I'm even thinking of marrying him to my daughter. Then again, I'm also thinking of keeping my daughter around so that I can marry her myself. <laughs> I, you know, she's a lunatic. I'm a lunatic. We're all, I mean, you know. We're all crazy maniacs here. We're, we're both beautiful lunatics. I doubt that is enough to override the, you know, crimes against humanity and all the gods who exist. Well, except for the Valerians, Valerian gods, I guess. And what? Egyptian gods and the Persian gods? Those are like the only ones, like those are, you know, the IRL gods and cultures who are, you know, the inspiration for the Valerian stuff. Like Tutankhamun, or Tutankhamun, you know, the guy with the golden, uh, you know, mask on his uh, grave thing. Uh, he was, you know, severely inbred. But the thing about, uh, I'm sure some will wonder about this, the thing about uh, inbreeding in this mod is that, uh, you know, the Valerians are basically magical, and so the fact that they have blood of all Valeria means that they can't really become inbred. So no matter how much inbreeding they do, um, they never get the trait inbred. They just go insane. And insanity is not that big of a deal. Uh, you know, vassal opinion minus five. Who cares? It's fine. Compared to the bonuses you get from being inbred, it's nothing. So, anyways, though, I'm gonna revoke this title now. Uh, I'll gain tyranny for it, or yeah, opinion penalties, I guess. But uh, I don't really care. I'll do it anyways. And he will presumably be like, oh no. Wait, hold on. Wait. Second. What? Why? Why does this keep happening? Why is everyone now revolting against me? Bullshit. Why does that happen? Tell me in the comment section. What the fuck is going on here? But, uh, Drakaris, I guess, right? Drakaris? No? Where's the button to, to dragon fire? Oh, never mind, my army vanished, right. Because it's their army now, I guess. <sighs> okay, this is interesting. So the fact that we are in a desert slash mountain, what, what terrain is this? Mountains. So it seems that you can't actually deploy your dragon in mountains. Good to know, but also fucking annoying because now I'm probably gonna lose this. Come on. Nah, there's no way. There never was a way. Oh my. <laughs> Love flourishes on the battlefield. I'm starting to think Princess Rainies might fancy me. Why, we might make a move. Of course, it is the Targaryen way. Anything else would be the be a crime against the gods themselves. I went to Rainy's chamber and gave her a good cut tumble. It's good to be a fucking crazy lunatic Targaryen. Oh my! <laughs> Our daughter is showing signs of pregnancy. She's thinking of uh, drinking some moon tea, which is like, you know, n you know, day after pill in Westeros. But of course, why would you kill an unborn child? That would be... No, no, don't do that. She agreed not to take the moon tea and will have your child. She will begrudgingly bear your bastard. Good. What do you mean? Why are you angry about that? Come on. Don't, don't be weird. 
Hey, some dipshit exists. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Take people into my captivity. I like. Uh, it's so dumb that you take tyranny for capturing people like that. Or selling them into slavery, I guess I meant to say. And there we are, finally the war is done. Once again, not really sure what happened exactly here, but uh, I guess I got what I wanted. Did I actually have to take the tyranny hit there? I don't know, well, I mean, I guess, ah, kind of this thing all worked out, because now I get to take all of the remaining dipshits who revolted against me. No one will object, that is good. I fulfilled my ambition to win the war, that is good. Revoke, revoke. Everything is good. Everyone go home. Except for these guys, I guess. I'm not, once again, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but whatever. Right, so now of course I don't have the money again to build that stupid colony that I wanted, but you know. Now what do we do? I think we might want to try and get that steel sword. Well, our ear is still sick, so maybe, like, getting a steel sword, I think, might involve going into Valeria, so... It could be smart to wait on that, so I guess we'll just see the realm prosper? Be at peace for five years? We can do that. You know, just while we wait for, um... What we do we get? Gain one stewardship, though? And a significant prosperity boost. Yeah, we could we could do that, especially after this war. But then again, I would like a lifestyle actually. So let's do that instead. Get a hobby. You know, we need to do something while we chill and wait for or try and figure out what the hell we're gonna do with all of these stupid prisoners we have now. I mean, I guess I'll release them again. So now they really hate me. Holy crap! Wants control over the city. Of, what are you on about? I mean, oh, I, okay, so you lost the war then, did you? Oh, wait, are you, oh, nice, I can revoke, oh, okay, yeah, okay, I see how we're going to get the loyalty back now, at least. We'll revoke these two. Anyone else? I guess it's finally time to deal with this shithead. Find some, yeah, that's a good point, actually, like, if I'm going to have a, uh, oh, shit, I can't. Well, I guess I can ransom him. Ah, I already ransomed him previously, but it doesn't look like I can, I can revoke his title. I would like to revoke the city and give it to someone who's Valerian. Maybe I should send my Stormsinger to do that, actually. Try and convert him. That could be good. But yes, we're holding the wrong holding, whatever. It's not really my problem, though, so... I'm thinking... I'm gonna let that be this guy's problem. I'm gonna release him. Offer non-aggression. Political concerns. Why are you such a cunt? Let's give him basically all that he desires. Or maybe give it to his son. Oh, he's a good boy. Beautiful, quick. He's like the optimal Valerian. The throw to his, uh, his own sister, of course. You know, that's the way that works. It's interesting that the, the mod developers have specifically programmed the AI to do that kind of shit. Oh man. Oh, I think we'll... I'll, once again, I never intended for him to to be angry at me, so... I'll sort things out. One good thing about all of these civil wars, though, is that all the slave camps throughout the realm get transferred to... Um, his word that he's not married. Dude, I literally just betrothed you to a lady. Or are you someone else? No, I just gave you a betrothed. I don't know what you're on about here. But I guess I'll find some actual marriage for you. Holy shit! Now that's a rebellion! 20,000 dipshits! Right! Okay, I mean... Whatever's left of my vassal levy... Let's gather up! And, uh kill this guy but no revolt can stand against actual fucking dragons so go fuck yourself you're my slave now woo and slave
Tyranny? What do you mean tyranny? He's a fucking rebel! It is my right as king of the dragon glass throne to enslave fuckers who are being stupid. I mean, what should I do? Can I just kill him? Exile. I can do that. Just, no, he has no money, so that wouldn't serve any purpose. Execute. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, we, <laughs> we get to choose how it is. Feed him to my dragon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You have decreed that uh, blah, 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 shall be executed for his crimes and that he will make a f meal for your dragon. Saraxes duly roasts the victim with dragon flame on your command and then devours his corpse. Yes! Fuck you, rebel. Taste or feel the meme of the dragon. So that's a thing. Hey, we can colonize this now. Let's do that. Oh, recolonize it. The shame is that I, it was a so-called late colony or whatever, um, so it was it was on its way to be um, to become a uh, you know a proper province that I don't have to think too hard about. But it's the most important province in the realm because of course it is needed for the name of the realm to stretch properly. Also, for some fucked up reason, this cunt is independent. Uh, that's weird. And he's even... He's a... What? He's a king now? Yeah, during the Civil War, uh, this guy became independent for some reason, and he decided to proclaim himself, proclaim himself king. Fuck you. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? You're actually gonna fight this? Oh no, my sister wife is dead. Hey, but that means I can marry my daughter because f fuck it. <laughs> Where is she? Niece, niece. Uh, guess we'll just select her. Wait, I can't marry my daughter? We literally just had a love affair which produced a fucking bastard child. What are you on about, game? Be reasonable. Yep, there we are. I don't know what that was up with, but there we are. Uh, presumably, uh, I will die at some point. I'm 43, so eventually I will die, and then she can remarry her own child. Yeah, and I, you know, it's the Targaryen way. Dragon riders left and right. It is what it is. It's none of my concern. Nope. That's a derpy looking Targaryen, but I guess he is technically a Targaryen, so whatever. What's this? Lose gold? I don't wanna... Oh yeah, because I hire a court physician. Right, right, right. Go uh, help people. Ooh, interesting. A son has been born to one of the concubines I took. Uh, is there... I don't think there's a good place you can see that. Basically, I, I have a fuck ton of slave concubines at this point because I want to expand the family and so I can make a slave out of him, but I don't want that. I can make him a bastard though. I can also make him a uh, trueborn son, which will piss off... Eh, religion must bastard king Agor. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, I, I kind of need him to be happy, actually. So I guess he will stay a bastard. That's fine. He is still a Targaryen, and he can still inherit land. Or I can still give him land. So he will serve a good purpose. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Agor, sure. Before I make any more silly sounds. Ransom all prisoners, do it. I don't know why there's a specific like character interaction thingy at the same time as Ooh, host a wedding. Well I'm not gonna spend the cash on that. I mean I Well, you know, I don't think I need to explain why I don't want to spend money on shit. Uh, instead I'll just work on this war, I guess. <gasps> no! 
Syraxes died! Holy shit, that is really bad. The dragon that forged this empire, the dragon that forged the dragon glass throne has died. Its skull will grace our halls. I can, however, gain the owner of a dragon egg trait. And I did. Well, I better be go hatching that. Attempt to hatch it. Can't do that. Because I'm not a comma. What? What? Right, I have to... Um, I have to finish the war. I guess that's okay. Well, strictly speaking, I don't have to finish it. I just have to... Hey, waifu, pregnant. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna buy that slave. <laughs> Holy shit, no. Let's not get this out of hand. My prisoner? Yeah, sure. I'll be merciful. Come on! End the war! Clap the leader in irons and let us end this fucking episode. Enforce demands. Yes. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm now king of this place, which is a bit silly. And... Right! Wait. The dragon glass throne? Okay, let's give that a... Give that some time to update. Right, so all of these places became quote-unquote independent under me. Uh, and presumably this... No, he loves me. Yeah, <laughs> even if he was independent for a time there, he still remembers that I gave him a fuck ton of land, and I think I'll improve his opinion a bit by giving him back all of these vassals. Because I can't really re revoke them, can I, now? Hell, I'll g I would give him back his kingdom if only I had an emperor title. But I think I'll do that in between episodes. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.